You know, I love it when we track entrepreneurs' success journeys, and we've been with him from the start. I met Dr. Vincent Chandra Winata when he was launching his line here in Singapore. He's an entrepreneur, nutrition researcher, founder of Renovar Show. I hope he doesn't mind me sharing this with you, but he told me that as a student, he was unable to afford skincare when he first moved to Australia. And now he has his own skincare line at Woolsworth. Dr. Vincent Chandra Winata of Renovasho has a deal, bagged a deal worth more than 10 million Australian dollars. We're going to find out how that deal happened. And you get to check in with the good doctor on video as well. We'll post a video of this very interview. We cross live now to Sydney to speak with Dr. Vincent Chandra Winata. How are you, Vince? I'm really well. How are you, Michelle? Thanks for having me on. It's great to see you again and to connect with you. Now, first off, how did this $10 million deal come about? Did it build on an initial deal that you had with Woolsworth that was, what, $5 million? Yes. So initially, we launched our uh, supplement range, so health supplement range, activated phenolics powder and an Apple Day tablets with uh, 1,000 Woolworth stores, uh, which is the biggest uh, retailer and supermarket chain in Australia. And that was coming off the back of a really happy accident in the way that after I gave a speech at a conference, I was very, very lucky that the managing director of Woolworth Supermarket at that time took interest of, of, of my research and my story. And uh, the first meeting with them was basically a, a soft no, because they said that it's, a, it's an incredible research and incredible product range. However, we were not ready for such an expanded uh, distribution network. And what was really good from that a meeting was that I think there are people in life that when you met them, uh, they leave an impression. And I think that I left an impression, a strong impression in their mind. And two months later, not only they coached me to be Woolworths ready, to be ready for the fast moving consumer goods uh, world and industry, they signed us on. And uh, in within a year, we expanded the range from two product uh, to from two products to five products in Woolworths within twelve months. That is incredible. Absolutely. I mean, you are someone who leaves an amazing impression on anybody at first meeting. But to hear that Woolworths coach you, I mean, I love watching Dragon's Den all the time, or um, you know, these these reality shows about entrepreneurs. Like Shark Tank. Shark Tank, yeah. Yes. And, you know, they always talk about scaling up as being a problem. So initially, did Wolves was worry about mass production? And how did you solve that? Well, one of the really good things that came out uh, as being an entrepreneur and, 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 a, and a businessman now is that everything happened very, very organically. So when I started my research back in 2010 with the University of Newcastle, I already formed a really strong relationship with Australian apple farmers to the point where I made a commitment to them that we will we, we have always been 100% Australian grown and we will always be 100% Australian grown. So in terms of the supply, there, there is no issue whatsoever. However, uh, they were more worried about will people actually buy it? Because if, if, if uh, uh, people who are listening uh, to, to this program and know about the industry of fast moving consumer goods, the keyword is fast moving because they every piece of uh, their uh, space is a real estate for them. They have to make sure that products on those shelves will, will move, people will buy it. So I think that was their biggest worry to us, but not only they were very supportive, I really have to, to, to say that I'm very grateful that our customer base is very, very strong. They, uh, they support us, they, they tell Woolworths that they want our product, uh, to buy our product while they're doing their groceries. And this, one of the happy accidents, one of the many happy accidents uh, when it comes to being in Woolworths is that a lot of our customers uh, who buy our supplement product from Woolworths and then buy our, our, our app skin skincare range from our website, they basically spam Woolworths Facebook page and say that, why don't you stock Renovatio's app skin skincare range? Because when I pick up my grocery, pick up my health supplement, I want to be able to pick up app skin as well. And I guess, you know, uh, little by little, uh, to the point where there was a week where whenever you go onto a uh, Facebook page of Woolworths, the official Facebook page, you scroll down, everything about skincare 
has our picture in it. So I guess uh, our customers, we're very lucky. Our customers are our best marketing tool. Just It just grew organically, it sounds like. Now, when I first yeah. met you, when you had the line, you already had a skincare product. Is this the same skincare product that is available at Woolsworth? So everything you love about our uh, previous formulation, you will love with our new product plus more. Ah, because you. Yes, at its very heart, what, what we are is Renovato is not a skincare brand or it's not a supplement brand. We are a technology company. So uh, one of the good thing about lockdowns, if if there is, but I mean, I'm a positive person. So I, I, I try to always find the positive positivities in every situation. Uh, being in lockdown allows me to go back to the lab, to my roots in research to make sure that what else can we improve about our products. And the thing about AppSkin is that not only we increase the concentration of our, our natural active ingredients, we also put hyaluronic acid. And the reason why um, we didn't in the beginning is because we couldn't figure out how to make sure that the hyaluronic acid in our skincare range can be absorbed. How, however, um, using our technology, extraction technology, it allows us to create a hyaluronic acid molecules that is compatible with our own skin structure in the way that it can be absorbed and utilized by our skin. And this is the reason why when you go out there and buy the highest hyaluronic acid, sometimes it can actually cause uh, irritation Dryness. to your skin. Yes, That's correct. Be, even more dry because it seems to be sucking the moisture out of your skin instead of the air to your skin. You know that is that is correct because hyaluronic acid scientifically, although it can expand a thousand times absorbing water molecules, uh, the molecules of hyaluronic acids themselves they do not contain any moisture. So it really depends on the carrier, and we figure out this technolo delivery technology so that when people use it, they can experience the difference uh, within even three to five days. And oh. I mean we. We, we have been very blessed with our customers who are very vocal about their experience using our product. But I think it is also a testament to our technology and the quality and integrity of our, of our product. Because if focal customer is one thing, but if, you, if they don't have a good experience with your product, it can actually be a double-edged sword to us. So it's not just activated phenolics, which is phenomenal in itself. The world's most powerful antioxidant, you say, right? It's yes. not just that in a lotion base. It is this no. technology that delivers hyaluronic acid and the antioxidants in a new way. Is that, that is right? correct. And our delivery, no, you said it. I probably have to record that, Michelle, and use it as our <laughs> marketing tool because you said it better than I could ever said it. And to add on to that, it's also... Um, when you put on a cream onto your skin, if it doesn't get absorbed, then it basically uh, suffocating your skin cells. And that's the reason why people can have breakouts, people can have rashes. And not only that, a good skincare should be able to measure the moisture content of your skin. Because obviously here in Sydney, we have very different climate to, to Singapore or Indonesia where I was born and grew up at. So... Uh, our smart sense delivery system actually helps to regulate that moisture so that it delivers the moisture to your skin without it being sticky or oily. Yeah, I've always wondered, you know, is moisturizer just something the Western world made up? Because, you know, when you live in a humid culture, do you really need moisturizer? Do you know? You do. You do. You because know? if your body or your skin uh, is not being moisturized properly, what it will do is it will retaliate and then create more oil to survive and this oil coupled with the humid environment can clog your pores and that can lead to acne can lead to uh, blemishes can lead to redness and over time if your skin is continuously being under stress people can develop eczema psoriasis or dermatitis which is yeah. why not only that activated phenolics helps in terms of the antioxidant it also has a very strong anti-inflammatory properties, which mimic the way that our skin recovers, like wound healing process. So it, it is really good, not only as a maintenance, but a lot of our customers who have uh, psoriasis or eczema or nappy rash in kids, like my nephew, 
they they use our app skin to actually help with that skin conditions. Dr. Vincent Chandra Winata joining us live. He's entrepreneur, nutrition researcher, founder of Renovar Show. They bagged the $10 million deal with Woolsworth. So essentially, was it Woolsworth who went to you uh, with the offer? Or how did this $10 million deal you know, eventually become reality? I can't speak for every supplier and companies who have uh, dealings with Woolworths, but I always feel that we are very special when it comes to our relationship with Woolworths because everything... Um, it's almost like having a really good uh, boyfriend or girlfriend because uh, they understand what I wanted to achieve. I, as you know, Michelle, I've always been very, very clear in terms of the reason why I moved from science to, to the business world because I want to help people. Renovato in Latin means a new life. I want to give people a, a better, healthier life, happier life. And they understand that being in Woolworths allow us to be more affordable, more accessible to more people. And uh, they, under they understand my vision and probably uh, they, they, they feel the passion. And what, what I always say to them is that, thank you for helping me making my dream a reality. So did you pitch to them this skincare or did they say, no, we need these two products because people are asking for more? So it's a little bit more, uh, sorry, it's a little bit uh, of a two side of the story, uh, both both working in parallel. And we also send samples to uh, the the brand manager, uh, the category Ooh. manager. And that is that was probably one of the best compliments I've ever received as a scientist, because imagine if you are in control of a skincare or department in the biggest retailer in Australia, you probably have tried everything under the sun when it comes to skincare. The fact that they like it is a personal achievement for me. Oh, that's fantastic. I like that as well. You know, we're all about entrepreneur stories and we like to dig and find out how real entrepreneurs make, you know, an incredible deal like this a reality. So thank you for taking us behind the scenes. Now, I understand you're in Sydney and in the middle of a, how many weeks has it been your lockdown? I think it's 14 weeks. Honestly, I, I've lost track. And Whoa. the only way that I track my uh, uh, the, the lockdown is through my hair because this is the longest my hair has ever been. And I was like, <laughs> at the beginning of a lockdown, I considered shaving my head. But then uh, luckily I didn't because then today I get the chance to be in the studio virtually on video with you i can't be i can't i can't be bold <laughs> and you will be uh, you know on youtube to the global audience so you look good by the way you look really good but you uh, know thank what you i know you're very passionate about mental health we've talked about this many times on the show yes and you suggested to me that we talk about mental health and entrepreneurship so let me put that question to you how has the COVID lockdown impacted you you are an overachiever you're one of the smartest people that I know, scientists that I know. So how, and one of the most positive. So how has COVID, the lockdown, impacted your mental health? At the beginning, I thought that, like you said, uh, we, we talk a lot about this in our previous uh, Ask Dr. Vincent series, that someone, not only as an entrepreneur, but as a, as a person in, in, this, in this world, you have to have mental resilience. You have to be resilient to it. Uh, outside environment, you have to believe in yourself and have confidence and passion and stuff like that. However, six weeks ago, uh, I learned that even the strongest person with the with the most positive attitude can actually experience hardship and challenging challenges in terms of their mental health and well being. I don't know. I still do not know what caused it. But if I, if I look back, because because you know, uh, hindsight is twenty twenty. I think it is because. Um, there is no light at the end of the tunnel. When we went mm. into lockdown, nobody told us that such and such date or the exact date that we will be out of the lockdown. It felt just like a continuous hardship and isolation and loneliness and, and gloomy feeling. So I feel that um, I need to talk about this because especially, especially in the lockdown, a lot of people feel that they're alone. A lot of people feel that they can't reach out for help. But more importantly, in the world of entrepreneurship, in the world of startup people, I feel that there, it's almost like a pressure on entrepreneur that we always have to be sunshiny. We always have to be optimistic and to present the best side of our mental health. However, um, 
I feel that I need to talk about this to say that it's okay. Even when you're working towards creating your company as a startup person, it, it shouldn't scare off investors or, or business partners when you say that, hey, I'm not okay. I'm, I, I need to take a mental health break. I need to, to talk to you that such goal is unattainable for us because the can-do attitude, the yes attitude is good and it, it helps me to achieve my dream so far. But at the same time, uh, I'm also aware that it can be costly to your mental health when 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 it is left unattended. Yeah, I, a friend just sent me a, a talk about toxic positivity, about how yes. if you feel the, the need to always be, and I can imagine as an entrepreneur, you're the face of your brand, you have your team you want to keep motivated, your staff that you need to lead. So, you know, you, you feel this pressure to keep it all together all the time. And you know, be positive all the time. So, what has helped you through through this? You know, this this period that has been you know so, so hard and almost interminable in Sydney, fourteen weeks. Gosh, what has helped you? I think admitting it because you never know how much support and how many people are basically ready and willing to help you when you admit it. I have never faked positivity. I am a positive person, uh, but. I know a lot of people may may feel the, be- the 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 benefits and the pressure of faking positivity where no, no, they positivity can be toxic. Positivity is a choice, you know. Positivity is a choice, but I I, I think I mean I don't know if you f- feel that, Doctor Viz, but I think some people feel the need to make that choice and make that choice all the time, and sometimes at the expense of their true feelings. And that's I think it's a habit. I, I agree with you. It's a choice, then become a habit. So you basically train yourself to see the silver mm. lining in every situation. However, we also need to be reflective of ourselves and our own true feelings, borrowing your terms, in the way that you need to be able to communicate that. You need to be able to, to, to let people know because unfortunately, the rest of our friends and family and our social circle, they may not know, especially with the lockdown. I mean, when you see people, uh, you know, back in the day when we are still free, uh, it's easier to pick up from body languages and everything. However, now I'm not saying that it is on us to do that, but mm-hmm. at the same time, I'm also saying that it is on us to let people be able to help us and let vice versa. The help in, yes. Uh, yes. Has, Zoom, has Zoom been able to be a good platform for you to keep connected in, in a lockdown? As much as Zoom can 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 replace social interaction yes however i have to be honest that because i use zoom so much for for meetings and for work even when it is it is for social uh, interaction it becomes like work so i find that uh walking outside helps a lot helps tremendously and even when you have to walk like 5 meters apart from other people to see people that that in real life and not through screen i think it helps a lot and sunshine I mean, you guys are very lucky there in a tropical country, um, in the beautiful island of Singapore, you have sunshine through the year. Like uh, six weeks ago, it was winter here. And I think that contributed to, to, to me feeling a little bit blues as well. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Um, for the entrepreneurs listening in, uh, how, can, do you want to share a couple of words on, you know, how you've been keeping going or how how you see... Um, being able to make it through COVID, I suppose, as an entrepreneur. I guess uh, I think I will. I will tell a short story. What I pick up during 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 this uh, lockdown is that yeah. I try to work up from home. So one of the things that I I try to do is yoga. And I mean, oh. can you imagine me uh, doing yoga? I can't. No, I always see you on the <laughs> treadmill. On I Instagram, know. You're on I your know. treadmill. Yes, yes, but I think. <laughs> I think um, movement, huh? I think like th- th- that's correct. But I think learning to be still also helps me a lot. And the other thing that I really uh, find very educational and very wise uh, to, to tell myself is that when you are on your yoga mat, what is the most important thing is should be keeping your, your vision and your attention on your yoga mat. Because when you look around, and, and see how p- other people are doing or see the screen and see how people are doing. But the t- when, when the time comes for you to do a head, handstand or headstand, if you keep looking around, 
the cost can be so damaging. You can break your neck. So learning to understand yourself and your own journey instead of comparing yourself with other people and other people's journey, I think that's very important. Something that uh, we should we should learn to, to, to be better at, especially now that we are so disconnected socially and, and physically with other people. Use this time to to learn more about yourself. I learned a lot about myself in these 14 weeks of lockdown because, I mean, I've always been my, my own best friend, but even, 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 even with that good relationship with myself, I still learn new things about myself. And I think understanding your own self is very important to be successful in life. Yeah, and happy. Beautifully said. Beautifully said, Vince. Well, congratulations on your deal. We must do this more often because it's always great to check in with Dr. Vincent Chandrawinata, founder of Renovar Show. You want to say some final words to our listeners? Well, thank you for having me back. That's it, because I'm so happy <laughs> to see. I, I remember, uh, just have a look at this. This is one of my most prized possession. Oh, he's holding up his money, FM 89.3 cup. That is wonderful, Dr. Vince. Remind me to send you some of my Bitcoin soap that I'm making. Yes. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, we ha we have to have a session on to crafting and everything. So yeah. Yes. Oh, we're just so thrilled, Dr. Vince. Thanks for joining us. Dr. Vincent Chandra Winata Thank from Renovancho. Uh, can we get your products online, by the way, here in Singapore? You can. You just go to biofida.com or even if you go to renovacho.com.au, you will get uh, a transition into our local uh, distributor there in Singapore. And they are very, very helpful. I think they probably have a better customer service than we do here because, you know, <laughs> they're always oh. sunshiny there. Oh, uh, yeah. Sunshine really helps. Uh, so yeah. we can get the products really quickly. No need to ship from Australia. We'll get it right here. Yes, okay, that's correct. Fantastic. I look forward to that, Vince. Thanks for joining us this morning. Right here on Your Money, the show continues. Money FM 89.3.